this bow, you will need 32 inches of one and a half inch ribbon. Fold your ribbon in half. Make sure you really get those creases. Here I'm folding over about an inch of ribbon from the very beginning. Then you're gonna fold it in half again. Make sure you're really getting those crease marks in your ribbon because that will be our guide. So basically you're just taking your crease marks and making an X. So you take the first one with the second one, make an X, take the second one with the third, well on top of the first one. Oh gosh, I'm confusing you. <laughs> but you see what I'm doing, pretty much just taking your crease marks and using them as a guide. Once you get to the third loop, you're going to put it underneath the first X, and the fourth loop is going to be on top. I hope that made sense. And then from here, you can secure your middle however you choose, but I decided to do a um, crease, a three-fold crease in the middle, and then just tie it off, but you can sew it or however you normally do. Once you're done securing your center, you can fluff, 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 and tug and pull until you get your desired shape. With these bows, I usually don't go for a perfect um, symmetrical shape um, like I normally do. So if it's a little bit off, that's fine with me. shape go ahead and heat seal your ends will trim your tails if you like and heat seal and stiffen if you want um, add a clip and you're pretty much done 